Good evening again. Welcome to AYV on Sunday. Today we will assess the inclusion of young people and inside President Bio in second term of governance. You can follow this show live on DSTV channel 399, uh, um, AYV radio on 101.7 FM, and on the AYV news Facebook page and other social media platforms. Send in your thoughts and comments. We go fan them for go through them later inside the program. Today with me, I get a started panel for help me unpack the two-hour discussion. Uh, and I'll first start by introducing the Deputy Minister of Information and Civic Education, Yusuf Keketumasani. No name, no voice, no young person as well. Welcome to AYV on Sunday. Thank you, John, for having me. Family, I'm going to listen to Rina Os. Uh, next, I'm going to introduce a very uh, firebrand feminist. He always the advocate for Uma Nem, also a youth advocate. He named now Therie Kuruma Nene. Welcome to AYV on Sunday. Thank you. Thank you, John. Uh, glad you for there. And All I look right. forward to the discussion. Finally, as part of the panel, we get a media and political analyst, Thomas Josephus Dixon. A lot of people like he left the Josephus out. For me, like for you, sir, because that's, <laughs> <laughs> it connects the name uh, perfectly. Welcome, yeah. Thomas, to AYB on Sunday. Thank you very much. Um, good evening, listener. Now, let, let me go on. We'll start with Yusuf. The, the, with a focus on President Bio in inclusion of young people in my governance in his second inning, in his second term. Now, let, let, me, let me start off by letting people know the young people, and first of all, we President Bio to our point. Of course, including Youssef, we, everybody knows he's been served as press secretary in the first inning, and then now you're serving as Deputy Minister of um, Information and Civic Education. So let's, let's get a list and possibly, I mean, some of the ministries where the young people are also there. So um, we get Boku Boku young people away, President Dom puts na governance. But um, I think it go also fine before we go to the list, let we get a context mm -hmm. of how we don't can this far. Mm. Um, <clears throat> you know, Africa as a continent for us, we get one of the youngest population, mm -hmm. about 40% of the African population, na young people. Eh? But interestingly, what's in the app in JK now the fact say in Boku countries in Africa, the average age now of the ministers is about 61, 61 years. Mm -hmm. Now in Sierra Leone, we get about third of the population now young people. Them. Inside that one day, where they between the ages of 18 to 35. Inside that one day, about 49% of Sierra Leone constitutes the workforce. Now this means say. He provides for we a challenge and an opportunity. Now, because a third of the population are young people, it means say the demand for the work is high. It means say you get more young people who go on more skills, more trainings. It means say more young people. Some of them go there, for instance, for drug abuse. It also means say more young people then go also want to educate themselves, forget opportunities in life. Mm -hmm. And the challenge is the one in there. So we, we mean see, for the past five years, as a government, we don't look at all the challenges and opportunities. But president, like I always can say, not to June 24, it starts. This is like government in continuity. But for the some of the challenges there, what did the president do for the last five years for young people then? Mm -hmm. President <coughs> create more initiatives then. So I think it's part of the challenge the way they now, for instance, unemployment. Okay, so we know, and I know so you get you get you get notes you prepare you fully loaded. If I give you time, you go you go roll out. Yeah, so I want to give that context there before we come to the young people. Eh? Fine, the first part of it where you sum where you sum up perfectly, I mean give you the context for which you ever talk about about the youthful demography, how much of them make up with population, how much amounts of them make up with workforce, and, and basically why why president did this. But let's let's talk about now, let, let's get to straight the number of young people will, will be appointed because there are lots of things then they will ever talk about. Okay. Now some of them you don't begin for mention already, and I'll go for like the others for, for talk about that. But quickly give you a list of some of the people who will be appointed and key ministries as well. Be appointed. Okay, so a list of the young people we presently president appoint. Obviously, we know say we get um, the chief minister, we na Dr. David Moina Senge. Mm -hmm. So out of the old cabinet, we get about um, 11 of them young people, and they were below the age of um, 40, so 40 and below. Mm -hmm. So um, we get the Dr. David Moina Senge, we na the chief minister. We also get um, Mr. Timothy Musa um, Kaba, 
we obviously they below 40 years. Mm -hmm. We're not the youngest um, foreign minister we don't get. And um, we also get um, Dr. Musak Paka, we this year obviously himself just on 40, 40 and below. We also get uh, me minister, we now Mr. Chino Abulaiba, we serve the below um, 40 years. We also get uh, Madam Aja Salima Tuba, we like you say, mm -hmm. um, now 32 years old. We also get uh, Mr. Mohamed Omambangura, we now a known face. Mm -hmm. We now <coughs> the minister for youth affairs, we also the below um, 40 years. We get Dr. Jalika Mustafa, mm -hmm. we now the deputy minister too, now Ministry of Health and Sanitation. We they below 40 years, you get me self, self we should don't ask, so we are the Deputy Minister of Information on uh, Civic Education, we the um, below 40 years. We get Mr. Ibrahim Sano, we are the Deputy Minister of Communications, Technology and Innovation, we serve the below 40 years. We get Engineer Francis Alpha Calon, we himself now 32 years old, we are mm. Deputy Minister of um, Water Resources and Sanitation, and we also get Mr. Patrick M. Jubila. Mm -hmm. We're not 32 years, we're not the Deputy Minister of Youth Affairs, you know. So this is not the name them of so the young people. So this also spread to not just mini uh, ministries, but departments and agencies as well. Because yes, well. Others don't be appointed, NRA for instance. Yes, the Young so, people already go, the, foreign, the, the one already go as diplomats now as well. Yes, so we get obviously uh, Mr. Soare, mm -hmm. we in our NRA. We also get, um, obviously, you know, um, Mr. Francis Ben Kelfala, yeah. we be the ACC, we continue for serve as ACC and commissioner. We also have a fantastic young, young man, we don't do very well in this country as well. So, this is just a galaxy of the young people that are working at the government. What I think is important because um, a population like we own, we're very youthful. I think, say, waiting, make presidents do this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Now, the fact, say, you know, getting kind of population that we're very youthful. Then, you know, use the young people. Um, we get the energy, the young people, we get the, the strength for make, make sure say we move the country go before. But you know, we stop the, the president also mix them up with, but we experience people back in the government. Okay. Where I think, say, we go, go through all the names, them, we, they in various ministries, them. All we right. they also for, also guide and support with young people at the cabinet back as well. All so right. that now be just names of people away young. Okay. We president our point. Thank you, Yusuf, establishing the context and give you some names of people who president our point. Uh, tell you, like, over to you. I mean, um, list of, of names and young people them, also women there amongst the list. Uh, something this way for make um, young people and get any reason for look forward to um, within governance supposed for BLEC and something this way young people and for, for the look forward to every other time where perhaps uh, a new president is, is elected and appointments will be made? Of course. Um, <coughs> what we know, we say a young population very youthful mm -hmm. and if we they talk about inclusion, it's, uh, it's a must that we bring young people in um, and give them very active role because mm -hmm. we don't pass a term away um, young people for just be passive supporters you know if we talk about inclusion practical inclusion sustainable inclusion mm -hmm. you know young people need for be present in governance and I mm -hmm. think um, it's it's an optimistic scenario and for the the women cabinet appointees um, uh, this is something we sort of, you know, we always don't really expect, you know, as, you know, feminist act, act, advocate and activist. This is something we've always been advocating for. We've always been um, 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 making the government, you know, foresee, like, for really appreciate the need for get women in power, you know, women in um, appointed positions. And mm -hmm. not that the political parties don't get competent women, they get very competent women, we can match up in them various positions there. So, so it's, you know, things at this time, we know, um, I don't feel, say, we for feel like appointing women, giving women appointments for be something like a token, you know, it, it's, it's not a favor. But then, but then so president, in, in the last, last time, I mean, just before elections, the Gary Bill was passed, uh, the gender, gender and Women's Empowerment, um, and we was passed into law and we give women um, rights 30 percent quota in terms of every whether in a public or private sector when appointments and jobs they be given i mean so like you they say I, I don't think say it was considered as a token but part of fulfilling president in, 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 in actions by the bill being passed into law yeah of course it, it's a fulfillment but um we're saying that the government can do more you know mm. and and, if, and even the GUI you no know, end up 
or not stop at just 30 percent it says mm. at least 30 percent mm. of um, women representation across different facets of society mm. you know so of course as a government you know we don't push the he for she agenda the give policy like you rightly mentioned the mm. expectation <coughs> is is that um, we can get more mm. in terms of um, inclusion including women in mm. in the leadership makeup of things in salon you know so because if we look at achieving the sustainable development we will have or talk about now mm -hmm. you know you, you you cannot achieve that on the outside if women are excluded so the emphasis is that it's not a tokenized effort it should not be seen as a favor a favoritism of course you know it's been blown up you know we've, it's been celebrated you know a lot of but at, at least you are expecting more for happening in that direction. More, then. very more, you know. All right. you know, so okay, much Terry, I'll come back to you, uh, yeah. establishing points there. I'll come back to you. Thomas Dixon, yes. um, let's start off with you, and we'll start off this way. Waiting beyond the happen as far as young people in governance concerned. Before we can to, I mean, the, the other points we can um, use to raise, and then we can begin for, for zooming on every one of the other. Well, um, I think um, young people in before now, um, they be they refer to we as um, 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 ghetto boys, mm -hmm. all sort of names. They be they refer to young people. Um. So before now, um, young people are not being the actually be seen in governance position. When it comes to politicking, a lot of young people then they use them for votes, for do politics, for campaign. But when it comes to, come for share the spoils of power, most times you know they get young people and much more young people into governance um i think say um, um this is not the this is also the first time where we don't get um, um, um young people so much young people in governance the last time i think it's between 1992 and 1994 the mprc regime we'll get so many young people in governance but whether they succeed or not i think that's another thing for me i think say they're not being succeed most of them not been succeed. The, mm. When the MPLC come, you get the whole young people that we are very happy see them company young man. If I would, at that time we get the youngest um, head of state yeah. na, 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 na Africa, mm -hmm. we na Valentine's Day. So young people they mean very very um, um, much um, enthusiastic. They mean very very much hopeful. Say then the situation will change, but at the end of the day it not change and um, it not trickle down to the young people. For me. I think I'm not so much concerned about the amount of young people we get in governance. Mm. My concern is about how this amount of young people go trickle down to the millions of unemployed youth mm. we will get. I go trickle down. How we go? How them people they are, for example, the, 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 the government go create investment avenue, create the climate for investment, for their investment come and the young people they will get job. Mm. So. For let the government create, that is what is important to me. It's not a, about the amount. Yes, mm. most of them, they, 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 they motivate other people. Then. then they motivate other young people. Then we go see, for example, you see the chief minister, you say, I want, to, I want for Bill Ekam. You go motivate you, you go through um, studies, you get to that point where yourself, you go make yourself, um, 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 you go empower yourself. So when the opportunity can you go able to grab them. So Dixon, I'll come back to you. Um, we, I mean, we will never can talk about, but I'll ask you some question here directly. You talk, say, how the appointment go now, um, the ripples, how it will be felt by, yeah. you know, other, other people will not get then kind of appointment than the young people and call them the one that will not the grassroots. The grass, the, the grassroots. But um, um, you mentioned the last day we get youth in governance yeah. in actual control. It was from 1992 to 1996. Yeah. And then you had current president now yeah. uh, as part of the 1992 uh, squad, yeah. being, you know, established mm -hmm. governance then. And then, you know, later on in 1996 as well, before the elections. Um, you know, things in our body, and that way, make you decide. Okay, listen, I, I believe in agility. I believe in, in, in this strength. I believe in this confidence with the young people they have to get. Let me get some more of them based on what I see from the one that will perform for me, the likes of, of uh, David Senge and, and, and few others, and appoint more into governance. For me, um, I, I, I see three factors we are responsible. I'm not actually thinking that MPRC factor, day, because those people in MPRC not be succeed. The young people then in MPRC, they're not being succeeded. Mm. Um, probably if I get this um, 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 
conspiracy theory where they say that the, that the old guards have been there as advisors that they wrongly advise them. We're in a conspiracy theory, we're not able to prove them. But they're not being successful. For me, I think I look at three mm. things that we are think say responsible. Number one, I think the president chooses energy over experience. He wants to um, forget um, things to be done. And the people already get things done, now young people. Eh? That not so, not also will say some of the young people they are not get experience. Oh. Some of them have, look at the chief minister, he don't be a uh, minister of education, he don't be global minister, he don't win the award. And you look at uh, the minister of information, he don't do, he don't in a purposeful, he gets a successful um, NGO, we get international recognition. And um, all of, so you get so many of them, we get that kind of caliber. They experience in governance, he choose energy, one for succeed, one for the people, young people, mm. deliver help and deliver some of the things because so, some of so, the, well, some so, of the so, things so, let me take me back to the question i initially asked you that you think say not go with it go it go with energy yeah like, energy go with yeah, over yeah, experience yeah. so yusuf so, then before, second, before, before your second point let me get yusuf to bite on that because yusuf also mentioned say yes indeed he appoint young people then but he still look at experience now be some and then we establish why is the new opening in statement? Yusuf, bite on that before we come back to Dixon for continued point number two. Well, I think first they make a just start with the NPIC. 92 NPIC come, they, they, they come with one single objective for move the country from one party system to democracy. That be the only objective that the NPIC carry. Then succeed? Yeah. They succeed, of course. Because you remember, say, by 92, when you get, I'm, I'm glad you make reference to now the president. I then tell you, in fact, at the age of 28, now in 1992, where they make, in fact, where you begin add the liaison for communications. You remember, say, in fact, now go republish SLBC, where you go commissioner. But more importantly than that, by 96, because of that objective that will make sure, say, they move the country, from one party to democracy, he had no power. So I think say now a living example of how a young man will take will get power and show himself say indeed he will serve this country and serve the interests of everybody. Mm. So I think say like you say that inspiration day from then saying the move and say that indeed young people learn not to just the energy, but like you say, both of them young people and they get the experience. Chief Minister, he said don't make reference to that. The Minister of Information, we in a new minister, you know, the Minister Timothy uh, M. Kaba, we then are the foreign ministry. This is somebody where don't have vast experience in the government from DG Petroleum, he, this is a petroleum engineer, he commode, he go back in the Ministry of Mines and Mineral Resources. Mm. Vast experience. Um, Dr. Jalika Tu, Mustafa, mm -hmm. the Deputy Minister na, na okay. Health and Sanitation, mm -hmm. you know, he don't work in the public service for the longest time, you know, and because of all the experience that we get, now make me feel say the way we can so that people away they get the experience, they get the energy, but also they are suitable for the job. You make the mention of um, Aja um, Salima Tuba, we're not the Minister for Communications. This is somebody where they work in the DSTI for the longest time. From there, you, you go study, you get LLM in Masters in Law, per, te per technology, and be lead advisor on technology in the DSTI, you know. So then get the background where I think say we need MSF Nanaso. Obviously, five years I don't know the public service as press secretary, they will make sure say I the manage media relations around the presidency. Now I don't kind of governance on the policy side, you know. So each of the one there, now people away, then get they are suitable, mm. then get the energy, but also get the experience. So oh, right. when you get the experience, now I make a talk say earlier, you also get very senior colleagues at the cabinet where you will support them and help them as you go along. Big sin. Yeah. Uh, so and also you get more points for me. No, uh, the, the the two point. Yes. Um, um, it talk about um, the president and dead over power. Mm. I think you get a lot of explanation from polit poli political scientists, as a known political scientist. Some they say he was forced to. Some they say he hand over power. There is a whole lot of argument around that. But those ones, like uh, uh, you, those uh, ones, uh, like you use, uh, like, you use the, like you use the uh, phrase uh, just now. You uh, said a conspiracy theory there. No, no those, are, those are, are you have, you have, you poli you, you have political scientists. Then we don't write books. Yeah. We don't write books based on research. Mm -hmm. So then when they leave, they don't write books based on each other. Put another book like Professor um, 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 Bob Kande, um, like um, um, Dr. Abdallah. You know, the, we know the historians in Israel. We don't put another book, say this mm -hmm. is what happened. 
during this on recent. So, but Yusuf men, men maintain that they, they, they may get one objective. They, 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 have, they, 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 they the have only objective now for ensure so they, 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 they can't they, keep it. It is not just one objective. Sierra so, Leone gets bad economy. They we are supposed in them here in the way they be there for help Sierra Leone for recover. In fact, they we are given the international support, the international acceptance. Mm. So, but it, 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 there, there were allegations of corruption in the MPRC. There were allegations of thirst for power. There are allegations that they want to change to civilians and contest. So, all of these things did. Um, the other reason why I think say, perhaps I make the president go for young people is the failure mm. of about the failure of informal ministers then in delivering in policy. Imagine a president in a second term going, you talk about continuity in introductions, in introductory statements. If we are talking about continuity and you actually don't deliver, you know they lay off 17 of your ministers then. You know they lay them off. You go lay off some few, few of them. And these are but, key names. Eh? Yeah, these are key names like um, Jacob Chusu Safa, mm -hmm. who was the mastermind of the, in fact, of both manifestos. The one we don't done with this one, we get um, five priority area. And at the mastermind, mm -hmm. um, you be minister of finance, you be chief minister, mm -hmm. you get um, 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 Professor David Francis. Bo Professor David Francis, yes, we also be chief minister. We na be foreign affairs oh, minister. You a help for get um, 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 a status na the United right. Nations Security Council. So you look at all of these things, and you ask yourself whether the president look at them people and did their records mm. and see see they not succeed. So, so once, and if they not succeed, so once we pray in Dixie, one by the ministry, the way I look at, we are considered have been the Ministry of Public and Political Affairs. Yeah. The Deputy Minister is up. The Minister has been there, mm -hmm. gone. Yeah. Um, for me, I think one of, one of the ministries that we may be thinks when me think say no evil important. They no evil important in our country. Now free money than the it. From way they create them, it, it's a ministry that evolved over the years. It started with President Kabab, Ministry of Presidential and Parliamentary mm -hmm. Affairs. Mm -hmm. It moved on, and Eskumaka be Ministry of Presidential Force and Public Affairs. We um, 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 Alaji Al Fakan bin Didi. Mm -hmm. It moved from Ministry of Presidential and uh, to Ministry of Political and Public, Public Affairs. Affairs. Mm -hmm. And now the nomenclature don't change back. So it's, it's like then if they, we, 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 we people in our government defend way for like make it suitable mm. in your governance because it's not suitable in your governance structure. <laughs> so first of all, I think say that ministry, then a ministry, what I think say they can just give to people, let's like, go there, you know, you know, but go there, let's say go to get something. All right, they are all they quiet for a while. I can't take you in some of these. So if I can take the cue from the conversation, um, I think it's it, it very clear now that with this progress we don't see with young people being coming in governance. Um, now that the need for no say it's not a position of convenience mm. and um, there's a lot of things we we need for work on around governance mm. and it's time we put all of the energy, the effort into action, you know. Enough of the fun Enough of the fanfare, and you know, we don't talk about um, young people being in governance, President Bio giving young people um, the opportunity to come and serve. I think this is the time we want to see that, just as you, you know, Dixon say, foresee all of these representations translate into pops, um, um, positive and, and very sustainable gain at mm. the end of the day. Mm. So, me, I actually look forward to. That kind of zest. And quite interestingly, when I look at the, the big five, you know, the manifesto, we obviously make um, certain, certain things quite, you know, prominent. One we get for the with um, youth empowerment scheme, you know. Of course, the big, it, it says um, over the five years, President Biogo provide 500,000, 500, you know, jobs to young people. Mm -hmm. So I think we, there's, there are a lot of strategic questions we need for bear in mind. We need mm. for start for ask yourself, like, mm. how is that possible? Because mm. my sense is that um, not government alone not will provide that Obviously. magnitude of jobs. So it means um, how, how are they going to cultivate, how governments go cultivate private, you mm. know, partnership for indirect investment for come, 
and invest, you know, in a salon mm. for take with to that. Because to be realistic enough, I think, you know, if President Bio can able to achieve up to 250,000 jobs over five years for young people, that will be a very significant progress. Mm -hmm. Because providing those jobs means it will tickle down all that, all that, all that things about so it's called, society it's will take care of themselves because so if so in other words you to say i mean you want you want young people appointed to, to cabinet mm. yes that's fine yeah young people appointed to mdas yes that's great mm. fantastic but for you your concern is what's going to happen for the one that we know will get appointment exactly how and, jobs will be created and, for them. and uh you know we talk i start for talk about tokenism here mm -hmm. you know if for be something we're going to be very sustainable you know we want to see um, young people being in opportunities will go transform their life mm. for decades, decades. You know, so me as a young person, I get a good job. Mm -hmm. You know, we go pay me like seven or eight hundred, um, sorry, eight, th uh, um, eight thousand leons. The next thing I want for talk about, I want forget a nanny or you know, like like a house support. Mm -hmm. So in itself, I also the, yeah. the support yeah. or the contribute to mm -hmm. the employment level. Yeah, so I think. Yeah. Um, this will be something where for be very strategic in terms of the implementation and I will really appreciate if we can be very clear about what are some of the mechanisms, how citizens, how Sierra Leoneans go for track the progress over time. Mm. Say indeed now this and this or can we be specific about almost percentage of jobs go go to each sector? Mm. You know, and we're talking about agriculture. Yeah. Currently, the, the statistics is that, you know, of 70% of the women, the way we have 70% of women mm. engaged in agricultural agriculture. workforce. Mm. But the damning report is that we get less than 30% where either own land or get access to their land there. Mm. So, so, yeah, you, so you, open, you open another fresh, mm. fresh mm. conversation mm. altogether. That, that, that would be something we, we can handle on, on another day. Okay. I mean, bring, bring the, the ad expert there for people to talk about. I mean, we, these are things we're all concerned about. I mean, it's, if President says he's going to create 500,000 jobs for Sierra Leoneans, these things also perform part of the of the yeah, of, of it, it, conversation. It, 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 it goes on to to um, to say what we're talking about here, yeah. which, which is the youth of inclusion. Exactly. You know, all, all the five hundred thousand jobs, the estimated or anticipated job, go in that interest. So mm. that's why basically I just decide for right, that's so. that's a valid yeah. points made. Dixon, you will get the top. Yeah, yeah the, top, the, to, the third the point, the here. third point. You we all know say this now the final and last term of the president. Mm. Or we'll get so many young people at the age of 38, 33 to 40. You get for a look at the succession strategy. Is it a succession strategy mm. that the president is creating among those young people? Let me look at who is performing well that I could actually um, 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 tell me, party say this is the person now I I I will let for handover power to. So you look at all of these um, dynamics. Mm. For me, those are the three. Reason we I think see mm. the, the, the president decide. I'm not in my mind. Mark you the, <laughs> the, the constitution give the president the prerogative, mm. the discretion for 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 appoint and for create offices. Um, as analysts them we get for the, 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 the quest, we, we get for question and analyze in discretion. Yeah. Whether it did in the interest of Sierra Leone. Every time. Now with the, the, the question, is Every it in the interest of Sierra? So me for me I think say it did with the three sector, the energy, mm. the failure of the old guards, mm. um, and the succession plan. All right, Yusuf, let's go back to energy over experience. Waiting there, young people there so will be appointed by President Bio, or don't be appointed already. What are they bringing to the table in terms of the governance experience and exposure? Well, they bring a lot of things. <clears throat> Firstly, my sister, um, I just want to make small comments. He talk about something about tokenism. You know, we, we say tokenism, tokenism, it just means, say, with the genome of his sake. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, something actually don't make it up. You know, just say, okay, Lord, maybe so this, like, wait, yeah, like, this, this will be the best you, business. You, yes. you give, give me the cow you own. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I think, um, I feel, say, that not to be the motive. Mm -hmm. And the human business president becomes more serious than just token. Because for the very first time, the GUI Act, which is, say, 30%, mm -hmm. if not any other president, they go say, okay, no, this is an aspiration. We go move on to that. But if I press the nine, say minimum 30%. So we mean say, 
even out of the full cabinet ministers then. We get nine out of 29 cabinet ministers when a woman there. We are 31%. Mm -hmm. On the deputy ministers list, Eight. you also get 12. Nine? Yes, you get, I mean, the full cabinet. Okay. Hmm? The full cabinet ministers. You get nine out of 29, 31%. On the deputies, the deputy ministers, you get 12 out of 33. Then you get 36%. Mm -hmm. When you combine both full ministers and deputy ministers, you get 21 female ministers out of 62 ministers, well, 33 percent. So, we we'll tell you, say, president is serious and deliberate. And you get people like, for instance, Madam Kenya Bale. This is a woman we don't spend most of her life, you mm -hmm. understand, eh, for do development work. That is not the token. Experience and somebody who is suitable for the job. Mm -hmm. You also get, for instance, the, my other colleague, when the minister for higher education. She has been in that sector for mm -hmm. long, a lecturer, you get boku boku experience. You know, I make mention also to uh, um, the minister, the deputy minister, na, Jali na, na Jali Katu. Mm -hmm. Then even the minister self na communication, so you make mention too. So these the are Minister women, of sports also. Minister of sports, exactly. Mm -hmm. We get enormous mm -hmm. experience yeah. now mm -hmm. that sector. Day. So mm -hmm. this is not a woman who just take them up for take sick. Hmm? Dr. Max Kine. We're gonna water resources. This is now Umawe na be um, civil servant before local public service. Work na um, 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 na the development um, trajectory in this country for a very long time. So what they say, what to just took him. This is now woman they were really suitable and they can contribute. But the young people, the experience. We don't talk about the boy in Asenga, the chief minister. We see what's in our legacy we left from um, chief innovation officer at DSTI. They make a minister in a basic education. We see all we see you do. So these are people that make a track record. And we're very hopeful, say, we don't care as chief minister. They go use all their experience inside governance for making say the coordinating things about government. I mean, say, you so we, all, we all know we we all know we public sector set up that when a young person is appointed, the first thing you get for able for doing for able for walk through, meander through that existing artificial bureaucracy, we deal with the one day they meet the how for get things then done how you for, for bring them weak wall and they can do. And now we have David appointed, Dr. David Senge appointed as chief minister in role now for coordinate ministers. Some way far more experienced than he is at the moment. Well, you know, everybody they serve as president in discretion. And the fact say president put and they, now because president believes say Dr. David Moina Senge will deliver. So therefore all man, you know, where we all the worker, we work out because we get presidents in confidence. So not to us as individuals, at the office where they carry a president in trust. So what is he bringing to the table? What did they bring here? Now the question they're asking is, what in the young people they also they bring here? What so, is David bringing as chief minister? So David is bringing experience in the public service. This is somebody who don't work in a salon, out of salon, in Boku countries then. South Africa, he don't work there, Boku on the IBM, and also, we also see waiting at a legacy we left at the Ministry of Basic Education. So you go judge them by that one day. For no say, this not somebody, this new world will come, it go deliver them. And about coordination. For coordinates, as somebody will get the experience with the work before that the public service will make you look at that. Mm -hmm. so, then you get also um, Timothy, the minister where then uh, the foreign ministry. This is somebody again we don't know the public service, yes, even though in background, now in petroleum engineering, but also over the years, it don't make sure say at petroleum we deliver day, where you know mines and mineral resources, it deliver day, and now at foreign ministry, it gets the gravitas for the ministry. Now somebody where in multilingual, it speak many languages, the way I think we're able aid, we in terms of the global stage. Very fluent in English, very fluent in French, very fluent in Russia, Boku mm -hmm. languages them, you know. But you know, only stop the Dr. Enri Musa Kaka, when the new minister within I culture. This time somebody said, forget enormous experience. You know, you don't work outside the country, you don't work inside and somebody will be advising at the ministry for a long time with advice, you know. But somebody where mm -hmm. a young, a dynamic, they also get the energy for deliver. So state to you now, Yusuf, Ministry of Information and Civic Education. Um, a month, perhaps a month and a half, we're not able to settle down now, not able for, I mean, because I've been, I've been one ministry and split it into two, some of the holes, then, not, not new, but then you're creating new, new um, um, roles as far as the civic education part is concerned. 
on are able for stabilize and don't settle down what's happening do you do you see uh, on are see way clearly as far as young people in the ministry are concerned yes and i think say we're very optimistic we're very hopeful i mean we own job now for do two things optimism can mean say something is not working as right as it's supposed to be because you, you, you're used to enforce response that we're very op optimistic we're I hopeful think, yes I no think, but I, think, let, I, let think, I just land there i beg before mix in the kind of <laughs> we all hold at the ministry of information and civic education and for make sure say we do two fundamental things mm -hmm. for make sure say one we inform people and very adequately give their reliable information accurate information and timely information about what in government they do but also there's a second ambit civic education we all hold back and for make sure say we connect citizens and the government because we feel say when I say democracy of the people, for the people by the people, citizens will be at the center of that one day. So when we come, we start to turn away, begin and seat, don't do boku boku fantastic work. It don't lay the foundation. So we feel say not to just government for communicate to people, eh, but government for somebody for listen, for get feedback. So part of what we go for for make sure say we create that nexus, we narrow that gap between citizens and government. Because like the last time I can I say, you get the state, you get society. And government, now in the between the state and the society. And government for make sure say, people are working at the heart of the legal process. Mm. People are for able to be part of that governance day. Now I make we day, not only for inform people, are, but for also make that engagement between government and the people. Are. And I think, so, like I say, we're very hopeful now, we look at various policies then, we look at um, the laws they're already around, we got all meeting with um, the Guild of Editors, we got all meeting with um, Sludge, we now they do a toss to all the agencies then for see what they operate and what new we will put inside them. And the, the minister very very dedicated, is very committed, and I, I did it for support time for make sure say we deliver. In fact, so soon we don't try. Mm -hmm. Because remember say government press conference, maybe they start first, now by English. Now we say no. Now we make a pack real. So from free tongue, the process for the probably now na, na kubola will understand what you mean by waiting government they say and make them part uh, uh, Dixie, now being you come back before Yusuf they, yeah. they, they, they hopeful and, and optimistic yeah I think say them then I think say they get right for be optimistic and um, and for be hopeful um, it's a difficult job for working a government then nobody not seeing easy and being a minister it's difficult you get lots of expectation from people out there Mm. And um, then they are the, then are, they are the amplifiers of government policy, and then they amplify government policy, and then they propagate government um, ideas. Mm. Well, I think they get a brand new role where in a civic education, where I think say a very good for not just because when they say civic education in in the country, most time people in think that for just school going peoples. Mm -hmm. I think all of us civic education is good for we, all of us. So that a brand new role and then the need for put them the, 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 the shoulder and the wheel for work and try for come with innovative ideas about mm -hmm. how for it's good that they uh, don't start um, this press conference in Creo. I think it's good that um, if you look at um, other countries like where then they get in engagement and they talk in the local language. So it's good that they do in Creo so that this idea of misinformation and they see that um, they also they get a lot of engagement, the minister they get a lot of engagement on social media. Um, um, on Facebook, on Twitter, mm -hmm. yeah. the recent um, invites or not invite or request of the president to ICC is a case study. Mm -hmm. We are about to also think, say, sometimes they're not get for, they're, they're not going for be exuberant, they are used. But, but hold on, Dixie, they're, you, they're, you mentioned the use of, of new media, social media. Yeah. Could that be one of the reasons where president realized, say, okay, listen, I mean, this is, this is the you know, digital age, mm -hmm. a lot of information then on a digital highway. We can get a lot of communication ah. passed on to people and information passed on to people there. And in the last, last inning, we were accused of not you know, communicating enough, not, not to make people know we actions, little steps that we take. You might see them as minor. But every time you do, there are people who see the information. I, 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 I think I think that they're good. I think one person we've been they always engage on social media, and the chief minister is, is also the engagement on social media. Um, for me, I think that the exuberance part of it. I don't mention this ICC. I think they didn't do very well for try for bring government to your side. Mm. But you also look at the U.S. embassy in ambassador in statement recently mm. for the Ministry of Information. I think the way they handle them, they not handle them. Properly, are you are you are you blaming that on experience? I, I'm blaming that on experience, and I will say that youthful exuberance. We are young people, who want for who want for be seen. Most of the time, we want for be seen. We know they patiently listen, and then respond. 
If you go could, could that be a, be a better, better way for day for a for address? They are address better the way. Than, than better way. Not just them. Even the chief minister thinks he no respond properly. You want for blame now? They also on experience because uh, yeah, our young people yeah, yeah, are and they, and they blame on experience. And they, and and they blame and on experience, and then and they also talk about the, the, the exuberance of young people. Just go around. If they have yourself, you know they listen to yourself most times. Even at the office, who say young man and the young guy said, oh, they talk, all they listen to, I want to make points, I want to make points. So that is go, um, also go contribute. Then, this, I think this is, it will be a breaking news now, yeah. the chief minister, like, just, um, I think there has been another, my information is that there has been the, another office at State House where I came to the role of the chief minister. Where perhaps in term president go say in a young bobo, but he not go able to do all lengthy the other affairs. So now we don't get back the office of the chief of staff in the office of the president. There is the office, I, I think, said Mr. Keketoma will confirm that. There is the office of the chief of staff. So, so I mean, I, 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 I'm I, 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 I remember when they create this office of the chief of staff, now the, 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 the United Nations Development Program to Nibla Office. They advise government to drop the Ministry of Presidential Affairs and create Chief of Staff Minister, Minister of Chief of Staff. In the United Nations, the United States, the function of the Chief of Staff, the Chief of Staff, the, one of the people who wanted in a cabinet where they attend cabinet meeting in the United States, is the, high, is the highest office in the office of the president. Mm. And now that function, they will be see where they create this Chief Minister office. Now we will be see, say, then they do. But now we don't see Chief of Staff now, don't come. Is it not a way of telling us that um, uh, I don't give this mobile position, but I'm not going to stand back mm. enough for let deliver? Because you go all, uh, it's a dupli it, it, it was dupli dupli duplication of functions mm. in, in, in the office of the chief of staff and the office, because in an escoma, in terms of the office of the chief of staff, now they do um, 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 performance contracts, and they get ministers. Just like the chief minister's chief office. Minister's office. Now in the coordinator and government policy, mm. it's a ministerial. So we don't see that the office of the chief of staff in the presidency office. Uh, I mean, not a young man, no, I think even, even by your admission, <coughs> instead of talk, say, chief of staff now within the presidency. <laughs> the chief minister <laughs> and the chief of all the ministers there. <laughs> well, means he get for coordinate all the ministries <laughs> and, 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 and put them together. But also, he talk about something, he make an indictment where things are correct small. Mm -hmm. You know, I can always tell Dixie this. You know, we are public servants then. When something happens, people will get a book of opinion. Mm -hmm. yeah? But I can also tell Dixie, say, the manner in which the Minister of Information, Mr. Chaino Ablai Ba, handled the issue with the, U, the outgoing U.S. Embassy was fantastic. In fact, the day... Where the leak come on? You give that you, you give you give that fantastic. Uh, fa fa fantastic. You, you, you in fact, expect, in fact, it was fantastic. Because <laughs> let me tell you, in fact, the day when the leak come on, what's fantastic about the response that, that he said so, to he so said to the you. public that this now now in, 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 in no I will tell you no in you no he use the word no Dixie wait no wait Dixie use the word. Dixie used the word say exuberant, yeah? yeah. Because you have me say you're overexcited. Yes. If anybody exuberant, it means say the very day where the audio leak, now it's on the minister for don't go on radio or go on TV or minister go on radio TV. No. We gave you 24 hours because we make sure say no, we, we, we get for all are come, are come okay, yeah, We yeah. get for listen and know what he talk. What he talk, he talk about what in there. There are many things that we talk where he praised the president, he praised the government of what you do. But all the other things in the back where he talk, we disagree with them. Because we feel in our opinion he make. Because we get engagement with the US government but, from but the Washington DC. You know so what means say... You know when they talk in personal capacity, but they talk in capacity as the US ambassador. Yes, no, but, but, but what did the minister say? The minister say, which was very right, that that opinion the way he offer, no represent the engagement today between Salon and the American government because as at the same way they talk, we remember say, in fact, we ambassador to US. Then we don't even invite an at the State Department. Then we get engagement with the Deputy Secretary of State. So I don't know if it be Sabina one day, but even beyond that one day, when they even go to meeting day, they even don't invite your ambassador. So this is a high level. Of, they don't invite your ambassador. Why? It's a why for say make it even go by the swearing ceremony of this incoming ambassador. In fact, you remember say just last week. 
the incoming ambassador, wait for come, go visit the Salon Embassy in Washington. So we tell you, say, waiting the outgoing ambassador express, no represent correctly we relationship between we and the U.S. government. Dicks and gentlemen, we want to make Terry get, get some bites and then we'll come back to okay. our, uh, on some of the points we don't be gays. Yeah, so uh, I think it's uh, really interesting that, um, you know, we sort of, they put uh, the limelight, the, the energy and the exuberance of mm. the young people them we, um they take the fall in leadership, especially mm. within this government. So for me, I see that one day as, as a huge motivation for them, for succeed. And I, that dynamic that initially, I start to say, um, they don't foresee them position as one of mm. convenience mm. Mm. because um, there's a lot of work to be done. And uh, I feel like, you know, I mean, there's a lot of work to be done and with such urgency because five years is just, you know, and for me, I, I really want to see uh, a situation where the young people being interested, um, sorry, we like don't be called for, for serve sort of create a blueprint mm. we will be quite sustainable mm. and also create the trust for more young people for be included in governance so like i say we don't do a lot of fanfares you know a lot of shouting about it it's time we get down to work mm. and we get a lot of I, I belong to you know the renaissance group and we get a lot of renaissance borders there. <laughs> and i strongly believe in the competence you know i think um yeah the pragma pragmatism and, and, and the strategy you mm. bring in the play can also determine the sustainable inputs because you know we're talking about um, um sustainability action one for c um waiting we don't wait till we don't miss years five ten years mm. you know from mm. now, mm. where we now don't get young people in places, you know, I, I feel like um, this crop, they face that challenge there mm. for actually make sure, say, um, the policies, the programs, you know, being implemented, mm. are well implemented for really benefit can they surmount, the country. Can they surmount the challenges? Then give for jump over them. Then give for left. The blueprint. They're going well, for well, I, I think I think that's the idea. We make them call them for serve. Mm. So I, I, you know, so it's it's more about getting it to mm. work now mm. and doing the job. Uh, you, um, Dixon, yeah. I'll come back to you. Terry is saying that um, I mean, you mentioned clearly. I mean that there will be Yusuf self established that there will be cha there are challenges, you know, clear ones. Um, he, he said they're, they're optimistic, but they are saying, he don't say, say on several times that this is this not an appointment of convenience for people, and this is not a one way they were called to, to party and to chill and to have fun. They were called to serve, to leave a legacy. They are called to create a blueprint for other young people that will come five years after or ten years after. Um, and the question I ask now, these challenges, the young people they are so be appointed to government. That's why I asked Yusuf about the experience within the bringing care. What are they bringing? Are they going to be able to surmount then challenge the way they defend the respective ministries, departments, and agencies where they find themselves? Because let's be realistic, some of them, they're not able to solve, not today, not tomorrow, not in five years. Yeah, I agree with you. Some of the challenges, first of all, we get a, a bureaucratic system we mm. so old, so I think say that now one challenge where they have office, we're able to overcome those bureaucracies in the in government and um, it will be difficult for mm. some of them for change overnight um, but I believe say that for look at say this now a generational shift we don't happen the president in the wisdom don't decide for shift public service from one generation to another and then therefore look at as the ESA is you know, to a job of convenience and therefore look say this is a third world country a poor one of the poorest country now the world, term not in our favor. Mm. And if term not in our favor, they get for actually begin for work. They don't get for weeks. Some of them actually don't show some signs of um, 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 say they're ready for work. Some of them don't show signs say they're ready for work. Some of them they go places, they check places and here and there. I hope that um, they will get for the most difficult um, challenge we they get for face now the civil service structure. Mm. They get for be the most difficult challenge and then this interministerial uh, 
you know, some development and the way you want to bring, you get forget interministerial consultation, agreements, and so on, as working together as a team. Again, and we all know, again, the issue of time in Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. As politics, they don't, politics, they begin. In Sierra Leone. As politics done, by next year, 2024, we're going to be hearing about um, um, lower level elections in political parties, both the APC and the SLPP. And that, that is where the jostling for power, some ministers will begin to form camps about succeeding the president. Mm. If they actually go into that, and before you say, we'll oh, go by 2025, 2026, we will really think about uh, election now. Yeah. So if they forget their role and begin to form camps, mm. say they want to succeed, this one wants to succeed president, then they want to succeed president, then it will be difficult for them to fulfill the five point manifesto. Particularly the fifth salon, let me note this. Mm. Not so now, the president and all the talks here, then the fifth salon. Sure. You remember President every, every Momo? President president Momo. The Green Revolution. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, there were cars. I made to understand. I was not born then, but there were cars. Green Revolution. But actually, Green Revolution not take place. Mm. President mm. Anes Baiko, uh, President Kaba, in his second term, he said, no Sierra Leone are not going to go to bed hungry. Mm. Every Sierra Leone they go to bed in, in Belé full. He didn't succeed. PRSP mm. won. President Anes Baiko, in his second term, talked about agriculture was his um, number one priority again. And he talked about bumper harvest that we are going to have bump. It was actually on paper than a manifest at the fact. Yeah, it turned out to be bumper hunger. Instead. Yes. So then President Biona, they can talk about fits alone. It's not an easy task. That one day for it's not an easy task. Then let's then, then let look at the other one we talk about 500,000 jobs. Hmm. Providing 500,000 jobs. Government cannot employ up to, up to um, uh, uh, 10,000 people. In the civil service structure, government will be able to employ that. So, what thing government for do? Now, for now, we get political stability. Number one, right now, we deal for note that in terms of political stability, would they, would they get some hmm, 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 opposition or great say that they go to government? Uh, would they about uh, people and they say they want to do the uh, police they say they don't arrest people and for, for subversion? We can be interpreted as cool. So, the, Political stability is number one. Forget investment in country. If, you, mm. if you, there is no political stability, no investor, no go, they go take in, in 300, uh, 300, 200 million dollars for can put in a country we shake, shake the apple. Mm. So number one, this government get for create a semblance of political stability if you want for give jobs to young people. So that investment will come in. Where people invest, they will employ people. Mm. That employment there has three years, say, it is trickle down. If, for example, me get a job and they pay me 10,000 euros, 10 million euros, I go for employing nanny. Mm. Now, also, they pay 1 million or 600 or 500,000, as the case may be. I go for make, for go make me motoka pay fita. Mm -hmm. So the job, they trickle down. You understand? Yeah. So for, 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 for succeeding those two things, mm. It's not going to be easy, particularly on the backdrop of these two things. Oh. Sierra Leone, as politics end, politics they begin. Mm. Two, the government up till now did not create the semblance of political stability. All right. All right, Thomas, I'll come back to you. And in case you're just putting on your TV set or you just go online, you watch AYV on Sunday. And today we'll talk about young people in governance. And President Bio, um, in the first, first term, um, we get few young people that were appointed, notably um, Francis Ben Kenfala and Dr. David Monina Senge, Yusuke Ketoma Sandi as well. But then in the second inning, long list of young people and women will be appointed. Yusuf just mentioned that um, over 30% of women in a cabinet, um, President Biwa appoints, and then at least 10 young people as well, with the under 40, will be appointed in a cabinet. Uh, in you know ministerial and, and deputy ministerial duties now. So we did talk about within um, young people in I mean, forget young people in our governance uh, and several other things they would address. I mean, some D Dixie don't talk about some of the challenges. Yusuf as well don't talk about them. Don't forget to drop your comments wherever you did the watch with from. Drop your comments. Uh, we will get time for read some of them from 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 Facebook and from other platforms that we get. But Yusuf, I come back to you before we go and take some from the comments. Thomas mentioned. Um, quite a few things, um, paying special attention to um, job creation, 
and um, food feed salon as part of the two uh, big five points in the, in the manifesto. And, 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 and I mean, like, when they talk about young people in, in governance, um, job creation for 500,000 is, is a huge ambition. How is that going to happen for make sure, say, young people can continue, A, for belief in the fact, say, they can get road inside politics, but B, also for belief, say, um, govern, government, government care about them and government want for seek, seek, seek their welfare? Well, I think the way where I can always start for answer that question, I can always say by 2018, when presidents win, in fact, even before 2018, when presidents say they launch the three point education, but we will not believe. I don't say even me, but me when you bother a big sister, not be believe. We presidents in a launch the fee quality education. But yes, <laughs> few months into it in August, as we come, we we'll launch her. And today, you understand, now part of president in legacy. So this now president's way, yes, very ambitious, and they think big, they want to do big things, but also they believe in that, we they walk through them, and I feel say that's what we will do. But initially, before I start to abandon context, I tell you say. This is also a new government. This is not a government where they continue. We mean, say, five years ago, part of what we don't do, we also we don't make sure, say, we start from address some of the issue there. So through the Ministry of Youth, we be get Boku Boku projects. Then. So for instance, we get the Youth in Fisheries project, where target young people in fishing communities. We create thousands of jobs there under. We be also get the Youth in Farming project, mm. where across the country, 149 chiefdoms, we began youth farms there, where we create jobs for thousands and thousands of people. But it not stop there, in the mining sector. But, but we, I mean, the, the, Yusuf, creating these jobs, uh, then, then, be, then transform any life, then change people, and within them bring calm. It's not about just having these jobs created. Yes, but... But they, well, it, like, Tegeda used use this word several times, it be sustainable, within they happen to them jobs that they be created. Then people, and they still get their farm there, then still they get produce from their farm there. So what are they tell you? So of course, if they continue, it they continue in the mining sector, for instance, in Kingo, where they come because of the arrangement they make at the mining sector. We try to sanitize the mining sector. Mm -hmm. We get lots and lots of mining companies that we come. We create thousands of jobs. Then jobs are still available mm -hmm. across the country. Then they, you know, only stop there. We also make sure say back, oh, come the National Youth Service. We're very critical because the National Youth Service, the act will be there by 20, 2060 when they pass them. The last government will not be doing much. So by 2018, under the leadership of Odona Jalo, we come, we revitalize down the back. So we mean say by the time we're done, 2023, we don't make sure so we don't provide training opportunities for thousands of young people. So in the private and the public sector, we make sure say the internships programs they will create, about 60% we get the retention rate. We mean say then one day when they come on a university has graduated, when they come with them into these programs there. We they put them in the private sector, in the banks, in the different side them. Mm -hmm. The retention rate, na sixty percent. We may say then get the jobs there, but in only stop there. We just also make sure say back across the board. Young people them the cash program we say across we don't create thousands of jobs there for young people them. We still there. So what do they say? This is a government we get a track record. Now this is a big ambition. We mean say we got to put all the ministers in together. We got to do with jobs people them for me they work together. And this initiative now we will lead because remember say this person a president we now talk and do anything we say we deliver on them. So as they talk to you now, we will get them conversation and they across government for make sure say how they practicalize and transform them thing they are to reality. But we don't do no more just by accident. We systematic we will plan them, but also we get a track record for sure say waiting president don't promise it don't deliver them. We forgive people a hope for tell you say wait till we don't say we go deliver on them. All right, thank you very much, Yusuf. The program now, AYV on Sunday, where you can you live from AYV uh, on DSTV channel 399, also on Facebook and on www.ayvnews.com. Mina John Conte, uh, we want to take some of our messages um, from Facebook and other platforms that we get. Let me join Salifu um, if he's ready with the comments and the text messages so we don't get so far. Um, otherwise, we move on and I'll bring in. Um, don't forget, I mean, go on, on any one of the platforms and share with your comments. I'm trying to check to see if we have, have any of the comments here. Um, in, in the meantime, I'll come back to 
Um, Black come back to Yusuf and, and Dixon and Terry Eredewit in the studio. There are guests for today. Um, Yusuf, obviously, now the Deputy Minister of Information uh, and Civic Education, Eredewit in the studio. Um, the, the role and ministry are different. Um, initially, it was just the Ministry of Information and Communication. Now, Civic Education will be added to it. Terry Eredewit in the studio as well. Now, um, gender and, and youth activists, um, you're also very, very strong voice in, in feminism. Now, Sierra Leone, they always talk for women. Them, Thomas Dixon, we're a um, uh, political and media analyst. We don't talk about youth in governance. Um, but in the and the step with President Bio don't take. So one the big question that we're going to ask now be, and Dixon be established, Yusuf, I'll come to you now be energy over experience. The second point, Yusuf, with Dixon be raised, now be failure of past ministers. Could that be a reason why president, I mean, obviously, if, if the people, if they were not appointed, the means they're not, they're not, you know, meet president in, in benchmark, the, in pass mark, for instance. Well, no, of course. We, we, remember, sir, we go into these elections with the achievements they will make, five years. And these are achievements, they will be tangible, and people will say, I'm big. self make mention of Dandy. For instance, the former minister will be in foreign affairs. You know, after 50 years, Salongo Bagda Security Council, fantastic achievement, you know. Now, like any time when you get a team, you get a coach. Coach gets in formula, what he want for do. You know, that five years day, the president set out what he want for achieve. Where we focus on the so, human capital so, development. So at the end of the five years. So at the end of the five years. So let's use football yes. terms. At the end yeah, of the five yeah. years, I find a surplus to you. No, Dixon. at the end of the five years, <laughs> president <laughs> said, okay, <laughs> we don't achieve boku boku in them. But now, I want to dedicate and make sure say I empower more young people in. For make them make sure say they say can get experience and now they get energy. And obviously, experience. President Tommy didn't get consent for do exactly because the constitution provides say president and get discretion for appoint and for move people from place to place or say so. Okay, that so, 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 so Yusuf is saying but, not to not to fail or rather that president in uh, new we, we, direction uh, will uh, take for empower young people. I like. think the, 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 the coach theory in, in football that they tell we say you don't change a winning team. Pep Guardiola need his coach change in winning team, for example. If uh, the Booney winner in mid player, we get injury, he was actually out of the big. So you don't change a winning team. If you change 17 of your player then, and you say you succeed, you, the, 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 there is a big question mark on your successes mm -hmm. as a coach. You know the change winning team. So mean it, it also the, it also gets impact on the president for say they not succeed in some of the ministries that we depart, we, we change, change people there. Mm. And some of the people that we change, to be, to be honest, some of them actually know, they not do nothing. Take, for example, transport. They tell Mr. Ketoma, and if he's on the Air Force, you tell him, Waka, go to Eastern uh, Police every evening and see how people they struggle for go Eastern. They are most they know as Salungo Transport Corporation is like, um, is, is, in, is in coma. <laughs> we for actually get buses and we, we for the ply the, the, the streets. So the Minister of Transport, for example, you know, you know, you know too much for help the people. Take for, 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 for example, the Minister of Agriculture, uh, and I, I, I just hear you from Keke Thomas, say this current minister said not be advice under the ministry. Looking at that, that track, the track record of the Minister of Agriculture, and this man will be advisor. Then you wonder how, how, how that <laughs> advice I got appointed uh, I, I as, as minister. Yes, I will succeed. <laughs> look, if you look at some of the projects, and then the Minister of Agriculture, one of the ministers really gets a big project here in onions, in palm oil. The big, big project here. But well, you just see recently the, 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 the price of onion. So I don't want to go up, we'll go to call us a Lunge Yabas. But Lunge Yabas, not even for a way before in Yabas, no camp. You get your bus not even there for supplement that. You know, some meaning there is failure in the agriculture sector. The president may tell me that they say, and they appoint minister them. We get farm. Now, so he will tell me that they think that Mr. Keketoma has been pressed. I wonder among the ministers them, if you want to succeed on, on fit salon, among the ministers, there, how many get farm? All right, I see you want to make mm. a comment before yeah. I come to you, Sufi. Yeah. I, I um, want to talk quickly about the mining sector where you see... Uh, hold on, we'll come, we'll come back and get it yeah, back. Yeah, the but commissioner will comment also on Twitter. It's okay, let's, let's take Terry quickly before I come back yes, to Yes, yes, the commissioner will comment also on Twitter. 
Yeah, I, I see. I see the guys are having a good time. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Yeah, I just you know I just specifically want to zoom in on um, on the yes, the youth empowerment scheme. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, it's very broad, and I think um, now that we uh, want to look at things from a gender point of view. You know, I, I, you know, I'm really particular about how the government intend for um, aggregate then percentage or the number of young people we intend for get job. Mind you, within our country, we the 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 the, the, the we, 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 we talk about youths, youths, people say youth man. Mm -hmm. So like the undertone. There's a gender undertone. Exactly. You know, so like mostly when when youth, the word youth come up in conversation, it's it's like all, only the ifato, youth man them, like man them, man them. You know, steady bongo sing, youth man them, the youth they want for work, and you see what's in the picture shown a man them. You understand? So I think it really go be nice for them. Mm. We get a perspective, an insight of what's in the package whole for the gender aggregation. Mm -hmm. You understand? Almost woman, because I listen, you know, Keketuma, you know, brilliantly don't spell out the different um, projects where the Ministry of Youths, you know, they undertake the youth in fishes, the youth in, I think waiting actually not done the standout in all of them projects they are so. Now, how many women them involved in them projects they are so? Mm. The youth in car wash, I'll tell you, there is no provision of women. No, I, I, I don't see. In I don't the project, plenty of them can watch what do you do with youth in Kawash? I don't see no, no woman. You, no you, woman. You, you ask yourself whether the women are interested in it. You know, no, yeah, no, no, well, 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 you have to take it. I mean, <laughs> if, 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 if you, if you, if you, you cultivate, if you cultivate the project mm. eh, from a gender point of view, you get a target. Mm. You want for bring female in. You want for, you, you, you go be very keen about women participating in this project. So I think because at that initial preparation stage, it was not in sight. They not think much about them. Mm -hmm. So for me, it will be very interesting for see almost female, they be actively involved in this project mm -hmm. because you're talking <laughs> about inclusion. And I, I look forward to more conversations really and more, you know, President's briefing, we go sort of be very clear, make them very clear about what's in the package hold the five five hundred thousand job. Mm -hmm. It's so very yeah, ambitious. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and mm -hmm. yeah, and for start, <coughs> if you look at that number there against with population, you will be very small. Well, maybe we, we, we you know, for not even starts with a conversation like for us, why five hundred thousand? Like why five hundred? Why five hundred thousand? Why not one million? Mm. For example. You know, so but, but um, I'm sure I'm sure the the the, the figure will be one from a realistic perspective yeah. because you don't want to go for a million and then you're able for meet five hundred thousand. Okay, at the that's end of that's, the day that's fair. But again, I make a reference. Say, you know, when you talk about agriculture, we I, 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 I think I think for lady for lay, you know for lady be very strategic. Certain things need for be very clear. Like how do how do they intend to go about it? What are the mechanisms? What are the you know evaluation mechanisms? And at the end of the day, how do we really get to track the progress? I talk, mm. talk about <laughs> agriculture when are one of the uh, most powerful driving force of economic activities, and mm. you get um, um, this particular sector mm. be largely dominated by women who, you know, if you look at their lives, are very poor, live you know you know. And not get much for show for the agricultural activities mm. within the into. Mm. Yusuf, you know. I, I, I hope so, you to get to so, get yeah, so I think because so we, we, we yeah. So for me, I really interested for see how the government intend for um, address some of these inequalities where they undermine mm. um, the representation of course. But because you're talking about inclusion, it goes beyond governance. Yeah, it goes beyond political appointments. You know, it, it, it should tickle down into all of these communities, mm. you know, every facet of the communities. Absolutely. So for me, I, I mean, it's, I, I, I think waiting need for be very clear now how 
You know, you know that's why you're on this panel. Yeah. Because we've been for, <laughs> we if if we've been for just get Dixon and 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 Yusuf for argue out. But then you are here. You're bringing that perspective to the entire you know conversation what it gets around within Uman them who benefit how we how we get for talent like for Uman them. But also even in governance, Yusuf, I hope you get the deal from that aspect. Mm -hmm. They you you will respond quickly before yes, um, you, I, you take I, a bite from what's in Dixon BC. And I will come back to Dixon for the mining sector. We use, use Dixon more for talking okay, about. So I just want to give an example. See, obviously, it's a concern. And a concern with government. Yeah, yeah. Government are always not. In fact, um, in the Munafa Fund, we will be launched. We president the you know, they give um, credits to them, um, um, small microcredits uh, micro to them, small enterprise system. Mm -hmm. In fact, 70% of that funding, so you don't give more than 10,000 beneficiaries you don't get. About 70% of them, now women them and young people them. When means say at every stage of the go, we obviously we care, we concern, mm -hmm. and even within the youth, remember say we also they provide um, training on tractor operations and maintenance for young people them. Mm -hmm. In fact, um, digging one say oh go one trip oh go, you see women them, they learn the machine, they clean the machine, they land the work. So definitely, um, like you say, Wait till we can co continue for you now for make sure say we then increase on any and get the aggregated figures. But every policy, every initiative we government they do, we care about women them, we concern about women them, we do put women them before, you know, and those are the practical things that we are think say we go move on forward. Because remember say for make you get a president, we don't pass a Gui Act. Now because it believes say we cannot keep more than half of the population them outside them be there. Mm -hmm. We have to move on, we have to get them more empowerment. And therefore, I think, say, gender issues are cross-cutting issues, cross-across governance, cross-across government. But also, this you talk about, for instance, transport sector. You know, there are many challenges with the salon. But we remember, say, in the past five years, now under the same government, we, we commissioned one of the biggest infrastructural projects at the new airport. Now under the transport sector, you do, or under, on any other sector, you do. So, like I say, you know, there are challenges. And this challenge is we recognize the NIMEC, we put ourselves forward for me to go back for a second time. And we believe in the president's vision, but we will not just do them without hope. We do our track record of what we will get. And we believe, say, in the next five years, like for instance, you talk about um, um, food security. We also remember, as I speak to you now, the rise, rise self-sufficiency, the metric, will increase. By 2021, it will be about 49%. Mm -hmm. Now it's about 75%. What we mean say we don't increase the metric sorts of guys the way we produce air in air out. But these are things that we will continue for build on. It's not impossible. But we believe say the president don't put the team together, he gets the minister with they will get the vision, what things they're going to deliver. Then one last thing in Dixon be say we are miss me. It's talk about political instability. Say the country, the government not put together, eh, the country not put politically stable. You know, the country is very politically stable. Governance, like any other country, after elections. You get you realize, say, whether or not in America, in different countries, them people are normally waking up. So, tell me it for, for take text message, but Dexy, now follow you. I you just you want to qualify that. Which yeah, you be I just want to empower that. Yes. People, parties are waking up, we get them concerns and get the issues there. But the nature of the country, we get with law, the Public um, um, Elections Act 2022, make it clear. Hmm. Say, if you get any concern, if you go to court, that thing they don't pass. And we feel now governance, they move on. And now, now we could all reach out. President, maybe reach out to the opposition, say, now we can't get more work for make we put with brains together for move this country forward. It is very deliberate, and I use this platform again for it to get that message. And I'm very happy I don't begin the initial meeting with the Peace Commission. What well, I think say it's good for we, and with the call on the APC, say make them join and by the governance and the government of Salon for more of this country go before. Make them go parliament, make them go make contribution, for make them make laws. Yeah, because there are plenty of young people there, you know. Exactly. Maybe go as, as like, yeah, you, you, you then go then if for go parliament and if for yes. go like, if, if a political party they refuse for go like for example Freetown, mm -hmm. who don't say na APC win the mayor. You get McKinney, yeah. when na APC win the mayor. Or other place there, when they refuse for body, it means the country get political issue. Yeah, but that means it's not yeah, it instable. And it, it not instable. the instability fueled by the arrest, not all, the arrest of um, um, military, serving military personnel that they say they want for do coup, subversion. Now, nah, APC military. Uh, no, not well, a, well, exactly. Uh, a political e exactly. And these are people, <laughs> these are military <laughs> people, <laughs> <laughs> by their names. It's a question I ask at the, the first press conference. 
Who are these people? Because the, the, the names, they, they show you say they are, they, they, the people that have been arrested and come up from one particular place that they continue. We know political divide. Yeah, but that is not correct. You no, know, no, no, a, no. APC people, them, no, no, we, no. we get names there. For we, instance, there is, yeah, there is a Van D where they come up with Kenneman and APC. You know, uh, no, you know so we cannot. A, no, we know we, we, no. we political yeah, divide. Big we demographic yeah, but no. JK, we oh, cannot. Okay. Okay. So, so, no, so but no, no, no. Oh, gentlemen, gentlemen. Okay, you are That's a question I ask now the ministry the first press conference. But they don't be answering me. Say, who are these people? Because the information they get as journalists, then people and people will come out, majority come out now the west and the north. All right, you're, you're, you're protected for now, yes. uh, Dixon. So, like, like <laughs> you, small, small time. We want to see with him, um, with viewers, don't they say, from across the globe. I'm um, watching AYV on Sunday um, with regards to plenty of things that we don't talk about youth in governance and why make president decide for do this in his second inning. Um, let's take some of them comment there. So, now join Salifu. Um, with the comments, we don't come. I know they're diverse, they're very and they're plenty, but we can take the one we for take for today. Sally Fu. Okay. Uh, thank you, John Pointe. Uh, just as, like you say, we get uh, over 100, even more. But as you say, we will take some. And uh, I think most of them, they're in English. So I think few day with day in Creole. Uh, the first message we I would take for today, it come up from Lamin Sobe, and it says, I would like to express my gratitude to President for recognizing and appointing young individuals in the positions of governance. This decision demonstrates his commitment to youth empowerment and inclusivity. And the second message is from Ibrahim Jakema. Uh, president is unprecedented. As the first president in the history of Sierra Leone to appoint young people in decision making in Sierra Leone. Thank you, President Dio. And uh, Ibrahim Jakema again. Under President Dio, the young people are no longer the future leaders, but they are the leaders of today. All of us are examples of President Dio, empowering young people. Thank you, Mr. President. We are indeed uh, at the center stage in decision making. And Eddie Grant says, the failure of some of these old guards like J.J. Safar, Francis Kai Kai, Kabine Kalon, Vital, made the president to inject young bloods into the system. And Edward Williams says, it is good that the president is appointing young cabinet, but do they have the requisite skills to manage these tycoon civil servants? And from there, we get another one again from Ibrahim Jakema. Uh, this dynamic set of young people, and not only young folks, but they are young people with a track record of professionalism, are determined to reciprocate what the president has started by bringing young people on board to deliver for Sierra Leone. Kudos to Deputy Minister Yusuf Keke Thomas Sandy for your belief in the young people of Sierra Leone, as you are a bright example of how young people have the zest and energy to deliver during your era as the youngest press secretary and presidential spokesman. And Eddie Grant says, these young ministers that have been appointed shouldn't just sit at the office to supervise. They should put boots on the ground to make sure the president's dreams are achieved. They have the energy and knowledge to do so. And uh, Lance and Akali, Good evening, AYB. Watching live from Tunji Town, Koroma Mende Chiefdom. I hope these young ministers will deliver in the best way possible for the betterment of our country, Mama Salom. And Jesus E. Babo says, President Bill appointing youth in his government is a reliable information to help his team achieve his goal. Dr. Senge proved it in the first time. 
he was even awarded as the best minister in the world. Until today, he is the only minister that has made the cleaning of a huge building <laughs> that is hosting more of the ministries. Oman Bangura, as minister of youth, is also another gem. My only caution is that they need to spread their tentacles in helping others rather than making selfless and proud. Thanks, President Yo. And Michael Bob, Bob Kumen. The president has trust in young people whom he has given the opportunity to serve. I pray that they don't disappoint not only the president, but the youths of Sierra Leone. Yeah. And uh, Cabinet Moses Benga says, thanks to the panelists for their contribution. The government should encourage the public-private partnership so he can succeed in the 5,000 youth employment. Furthermore, government needs to emphasize on the energy sector because investors will only come where there is a stable energy power supply in the country. Mm. Uh, Ronald Redford Ignitors George Stone says, having young people in the government is all good, but their involvement will not make the real changes needed. There are millions of young people on the scale, unemployed and underemployed. Providing 5,000 jobs would be a challenge when the government needs to get at least a million. My question is, where will these jobs be created and where are the investments coming from with an economy in distress, with inflation and interest rates that hasn't been maintained? Our currency is weak and hasn't been leveraged of attracting foreign direct investments. So let's hope they can get things going for the betterment of the masses. But five years won't make much of a difference if the last five years had anything to write home with that. And Ibrahim Bundu Tamar says, I think my brother Dixon is right on this point, stated as politics end and politics start, which has to stop. If we want to be better leaders, uh, so for such to be achieved, I think political stability should be attained, so normalcy in state running will be done. Regards from Ibrahim Boon. And we have uh, Mada Swadiho Kamara. Thanks to President Dio for appointing a young and energetic man like the Deputy Minister of Information and Senior mm. Education. I don't know you. Thank you, Salifu. Um, quite interesting comments um, there. Uh, there are some there are some messages. Uh, we may shower praise on on the deputy minister of, of information, but more importantly, there are some messages. We um, one of them, well, a couple of them, we really stand out. Um, Dixon, Michael, Bob, come and say young people are not for disappoint. They wonder they don't be appointed because if they do now, down the line, no sober president no come and appoint young people again for serve in a key position there in our governance because then go, you know, they look at what happened in the last five uh, years. Yeah, of yeah. President I, I think say they, they, they're not test case. They're not test case for uh, the, for this generation. See if they <coughs> perform, mm -hmm. then. The next president uh, will come and go always the same. Let bring young people on board. Mm -hmm. But if they not perform, then I think say that hope they it could be dashed. Mm -hmm. um, um, in for make statement um, yes, about the, mi the, the mining, mining sector, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the mining sector now one sector we go provide huge employment for. Me. And um, I think say we need for look into that sector the critically. Especially the job that we see in the gets at the mining sector, uh, um, um, they, they come right now, they come up to middle management level. Before now, in the Aneskoma regime, we see Sierra Leoneans at top management level, CEOs of mining companies. 
Now, among the companies that we'll get now, we'll not see Sierra Leoneans as CEOs. A top man, that's, that's an issue also because if you, yes, it's good you're coming with your investment, but it's also good that you put trust in Sierra Leonean for Eddie. We see in the likes of Monsieur Fadika as CEO of African Mineral. We see the likes of John Bono CC as CEO of Sierra Rutai. Mm -hmm. um, 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 uh, we see the likes of Kylie, engineer Kylie, as CEO of London Mining. So you get Sierra Leoneans and, they, and that they give up. Mm. They understand the dynamics, but if we keep on having these foreign direct investment and a top management level, Sierra Leone, and they break in, then I don't mean a job they will still get. Then also, forget a job is not also about government, particularly in the mining sector. It's also about us young people forgetting the required skill. Yeah. Like, for example, I know mining companies that we want people to operate them every yeah. um, um, duty, machines, yeah. they don't get the skill. Yeah. So it's also good that um, young people uh, try for begin for get the skill. Even um, um, at one time in Abolui, in Awataki, I know they had to import Ghanaian for can operate um, the, 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 the crane, the, 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 the container. Mm -hmm. So I think, say, we need to get some of them skills and they as young people. We get for make yourself, somebody mm -hmm. talk about underemployment. We get for make yourself employable. Mm -hmm. We get forget the requisite, um, um, not just not just um, academic qualification. Mm, skills. I think Soft it has to be well. skills cut across all level. Mm. That is where the technical vocational in, um, institute will get for see them up and running yeah. again. Yeah. Training people with mm. relevant skills for the mining sector. Mm. Mm. Um, 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 me, um, um, Mr. Keketoma mentioned about um, um, free quality education. For me, yes, there is free quality education. How much free is it? I think um, it's, um, 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 and will have um, do um, um, a, a, a research on how free and how old they still they so, spend. So, so, so Dixon, obviously, if we open that up now, how old they still spend? If we open, if we open okay, that up now, talk about, we can't talk now. about quickly. I talk about um, the um, um, New Year, but I think it's a fantastic work. Um, but we all know how it was achieved. It's a presidential initiative. The office of the presidential initiative led by Dr. Tambi Uzo, who has also been fired. <laughs> it was led by that man. So, and, um, what, I but if, what if, what if, <laughs> if, an, if, an, if, if, if an initiative not come, not come from the president, I mean, no, know, it's a presidential, it, it's the office of the presidential initiative. Now, I created that one, I go find that time businessly. Not to for saying that the Minister of Transport will supervised by the Minister of Transport. <laughs> okay, sir. <laughs> okay, All right, sir. Let, let, let's come back. Let's, let, let's come back to some of the comments that we will be made. Um, Buambanewa mentioned uh, that Michael Bob come I'll come back to you today for respond for make a comment on that. Say young people are not for disappoint. Eddie Grant say the failure of the old guards then and lead to, I mean whether can for agree to that or not, lead to the appointment of young young people them na the. Um, now the new cabinet and, and governance. Um, <clears throat> Ibrahim Zakema say, in the past, we they say young people are the future leaders. Um, now he's saying they are the leaders of today. Now in Zakema, they say. Um, tell you, I'm follow you, you take a bite quickly on the one and the before I come to Yusuf and some other comments they will make. Yeah, um, of course, we don't they say that one day. The expectation is very high mm -hmm. um, for um, these young people in government governance. And rightly, a lot of them, virtually all of them, come, with, come in with the track record. So um, the, we want for belief, say, they can live up to the task. Um, yeah, another thing again, I don't know if I can just go ahead, come go in. Ahead, go ahead. Yeah. I think we not actually go do much justice to mm -hmm. this particular topic here today if we fail for um, also contextualize one of the um, worrisome situations where we face currently with young people. Um, we get for do with um, Kush. the dogs abuse. Mm. Yeah. Um, I think it's a very serious issue because when we they talk about youth inclusion, you, you they imagine young people were fit enough mentally, you know, physically, for engage in both civic and political activities. But if we don't see a trend where, you know, a critical set of the young population, they sort of be swayed mm. in the use of drugs. 
And the sad part is, as alarming as it is, it still not appear like alarming in the society. So I think that is one important thing where we really like can scrutinize when mm. we look at you know youth inclusion because at the end of the day you get then critical sets then they you it's it's like they they kind of cut off the development um, 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 uh, participation mm. you know and then and also that one day we want for see because when you talk about youth inclusion we we want for left the elitist youth you know youth young people we don't go university, we sort of empowered, you know, in some kind of way. We go and them positions on different um, governments or mm. what are high seated, mm. you know, positions. Mm. But what about the young people without any in the slum without communities, skills. without mm. any set skills, mm. you know, young people where um, their life, they be wasted away, mm. you know. And, and for me, I think, um, we go be very intentional and sincere about young um, um, youth inclusion when we face this serious issue. For me, I see I'm like, like it's a plague. And it's a plague where, like it or not, it affects we all. It affects we all because the dependency level where mm. it, it invoke in society, it's, it's so, so worrisome. Mm. <laughs> As I talk to you now, I, I get, you know, some boys in our uh, area, uh, car wash, very, very smart guys, take the car and they can wash them for me, we get some, you know, rapport. Three days ago, one part of them, go to house and go to the motor car battery. You know, and, 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 and in the early engagement, like this now people where you, you they see say, engage in, in this drugs abuse. Mm. You know, so I think one of the one of the one of the one of the things that we will not do now for first of all sincerely acknowledge this how this problem they affect youth's participation in governance and with development strategy and also how like we want to identify the source of the problem. Mm. How so then do oxy are the smuggling? How do they make their way? So one by the thing that we you know, uh, Minist <coughs> Ministry of Information mm. and Civic Education be don't handle and address now been this one kush. I remember there was a dedicated press conference purely to um, them bring Dr. Uh, Jallo yeah. from Kisi Psychiatric Hospital on board the panel mm. and other experts then for able for talk about her. Yeah. Like you say, ag for agree, say yes, it's an existing issue. Exactly. And the need for doing. And, and I think mm. I also yeah. been a part of an, an engagement in a state house mm -hmm. where I think it was a cabinet conclusion to look at substance abuse in particular, the Kush, where I think um, government may call um, um, stakeholder consultation because uh, they, according to the chief minister, they no one for come out with a um, solution will not come out from Stay the cold. people. Mm -hmm. And um, drug abuse, you not get for just you can tackle Kush. How the, you, you get for understand like how young people graduated from Jamba to Tramadol mm -hmm. to Kush. The next thing they look for the one we pass Kush. Mm -hmm. So um, um, mm. we talk about Dr. Yeah. Jalo. Dr. Jalo give clinical data mm. about the demographic way they take Kush. Mm. Sixty percent uh, secondary school picking them. Secondary Scary. school picking them. Scary. Sixty mm. percent. Mm. Eleven percent the university students. Mm -hmm. When you talk about eleven percent mm. of the university students, mm. Yeah, mm. they take Kush. So you, they are, they are, um, um, uh, you get the law aspect of it, enforcement aspect. Mm. You also get um, one thing we will lack uh, from that meeting uh, that will not get a rehab center in Asalo. You know, the, that was that had been the statement of the Minister of Social Welfare. Mm. That they get a structure now. The yeah. government don't employ 150 social workers, mm. but there is no rehab center, but there is a structure mm. where they, they aim one for in the proposed to government for letting them use them, begin mm. them. Because you get to understand, see, first of all, drug abuse not just only Sahara No, it's not. It's all over the not place. Not And the, from Dr. Jalo, you talk about import. Mm. And um, it it seems as if the Kush and the import are again. Mm. Then they get then get then the producer now yeah. with some kind of leaf mm -hmm. put for malin and so on. So it tell me about the different types of the Jagaban Kush, and Kush. yes, you get different type of Kush with the. The one day where they make nine, they make uh, you sleep. The one day when they mix with tramadol, where they make you active. 
So there are different types of kush. So we get to understand as a state mm. dealing with they are experts in mm. drug abuse. Yeah. Mm. We show we end them. Mm. We also they also may make recommendation for look at country them. One country we been there into this substance abuse now Malawi. Mm. Then get for look into the other case stories. South Africa also yeah. be mm -hmm. also be yeah. get mm. this. Uh, what did they motivate? What did they make youth, mm. young people, when they go into and, and, and how for dealing with that? Right, time, time, time is So not. I think it's a whole lot of. Um, I agree with you. We will not go down this discussion if we talk about young people and governors. If we will not talk about Kush. Yeah. And I think see, as a state, all of us, the states, the community. We see community and they use an approach where I think say not to be good mm. approach. Mm. You cannot victimize the victims. Yeah. Then people and they also beating the need at that time. The need for sit down, you talk to them and do all One thing we don't lack, you know, I, I don't think say we get cancer. Even some of we can get mental problems. We, we think say normal. You don't come on at work, you stress out so and you have mental yeah. problems. It, sometimes mm. you get for put yourself together for let you come back. So I think this whole issue of um, mental health is a global issue, mm. and as a state, we need for tackle them head on. All right. Okay, D D Dixon and, and Terrier, thank you very much for that. Yusuf, I'll come back to you. And also you have a comment on that, but several other comments that will come in now. Ronald George Stone. I think he began a long, long other name then, so we okay. <laughs> sorry for being the type of call. But John, Ronald say, who side and job there so they come out? 500,000. How they going to be created? We, we get economic distress, inflation, and weak currency. He says, how then job there so go come? Who side they come out? Now, magic, how are you able to forget them done so that you, you employ or you create jobs for 500,000 people inside, inside five years? But also, I mean, Dixon mentioned, along creating the jobs, there should be skills acquisition. So that means then tech voc supposed to be set up along the line. So the one that we you know employable will not get the skills, then forget them. Work. Or go sit on a table where long tie or where a uh, kaftan or agbada we will forget side outside and mm. they use their hand for make things both man and woman then that ain't gonna wait in 10 years here well i think uh, like i said like, you know in my initial intro i say this not a government will just start on the 24th of june mm. this that government will continue five years part of what we don't do now we realize say not to everybody to go through the formal structure for come on, sit was go to university, you know. Some people in their way, then not to university. Mm. Then uh, skills, the one land trade, the one land book book within the way not going to do the formal structure. Now I make five years, we don't establish the most of the districts there. We get skills in the vocational centers they will do for empower young people. What things are very important. Now, who's the job they come up from? We don't set out in the manifesto the various things they will go for do. We're not just like you talk about our government, government or they create jobs there for everybody. Yes, we, we understand that and we accept that. And I make part of what we get for doing that for make sure say we give tax and non tax incentives to the private sector. So in addition, I make Adam talk about all the initiatives that the government been doing for the past five years, how we create jobs there for young people them. and we'll continue and build on that day. So we therefore make sure say we use the private sector, specific reference I make things to the mining sector. Oh, come, create the atmosphere for the mining sector. We make sure, say, but who comes away then come? Then create jobs then for young people, then create jobs then for salon people. We make sure, say, that's able alone for addressing of challenges that we will get. And we can talk about, say, um, the cadre of salon people and how they work. Yes, we get mining sectors there where you get salon people where they work at senior level, at senior management level. But you also get at big level man um, management structure. But we get for understand, say, these are private companies. And government has to be very careful for make sure, say, we're not just to go impose on these private companies because you also want to forgive them the independence. Mm. Because now they get the money and they can invest, you create the enabling environment to make sure, say, they get people and we get the competence and get the skills. I go out Ashraf Abul and say, where salon people are competent, we get the skills, we get the knowledge. At every opportunity we come, and then come in, they will get the opportunity for serve and work. Thank you, they will get the assurance there. But definitely, as you go, these are private companies, them, we get the investment with the government of this country, we want to support them. But also, the jobs, them, who are going for come out. Like I said to you, this is a presidential initiative. So, as I talk to you, not planning. I make reference to Dixie, where I talk, say, by 2018, we'll go back and pay, they say, oh, free quality education, but people don't believe. But the president will get, the president will, I feel, say, anything we say, with the Sidom, think and through, put people all together for me to say we'll achieve on them. And on the Kush, 
And I'm glad he, because Dixon go up and meet the chief minister be called. We don't take this matter very seriously. But we don't view now the Ministry of um, Information and Civic Education, this is also just a law enforcement issue. So the other day, I think last week, I see there's a magistrate way, I think, um, remand about 50 people um, way, I think they say Bokush and then pushing the and then. We not just for treating a court. Mm. We get for make sure, say, like, oh, don't start for do now. Get everybody on the table and carry solutions and how for address them thing there. Mm. Because it's important, even the communities, we not already try for, you know, dehumanize people away they part this thing. Because what they do, they create more problems than solution. Yeah. So we think so we can forget a civic approach to this, to the communities, to the young people. Because at the end of the day, you know, the ingredients where they push, that's the way they get everywhere. Mm. Yes, mm -hmm. nail polish, formalin, you know, they say they take some um, diamond and bones, a lot of poison. These are things that they're everywhere. <laughs> so just for use the law alone, law enforcement, not go adequately for address the issue. Now we get civic engagement about it. Now the government take it very seriously. President is talking the chief minister. Mm. Now we have conversations. I will go transcend that for make sure say we also get a bigger conversation mm. on how for address the Dixon issue. Dixon, oh, hold on, you so Dixon, I don't know if you remember there was a time. I think it was in the, in the 90s, um, leading on to 1996, 98, where we, we, we used to have a, like a huge problem with Jamba. Yeah, Where a lot of public education be done on. You had many PSAs on, on radio, women yeah, go I, I on. Think way. It, was, it was not just Jamba, mm. Kush in replica, Brown Brown. Brown Bidi. Brown, yes. Bidi. yes. So popular people, mm -hmm. then they move mm. from Jamba to Brown Brown. Then yeah. Then they, yeah. So <laughs> most people, um, like how they were going to be able to they, they, they be able to Kush now, mm. they go to tea, where they take Brown Brown. Yeah. They, so I think they, 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 outside the law enforcement, where we be established another meeting, they get for take place. There are people in the community, kingpins, the distributors. Yes. Mm -hmm. They want the way they sell, sell this thing. These are the people that we the law actually they for go for, after. Go after. Mm -hmm. Because again, then they motivate other people. Some of them don't want money, man. So like you go motivate a young man where perhaps one go school, see that man go get quick money pan drugs, instead of go and be like that man. So if you ask some woman then now they sell the kush, you ask her what you mean they sell the kush, I will tell you say get get hundred percent profit. You know he put side mm -hmm. the pool, eight, eight to eight profit. Mm -hmm. So you, the motivation behind them, that they want in the way they sell, then they distribute and they make. I think they want in the the law for to reach out to them. them. But you look at the victims, the one the way they go buy this tea, where they take them. Mm -hmm. I think say some of them they are just vulnerable. Some of them they are just vulnerable. Imagine somebody come on a very poor home. Vulnerable, you don't live with that vulnerability. They taste on some stage. Then a uh, one in Paddy go tell and say, Lord, begin take this, they make you feel high. Mm -hmm. He said, Begin take him. So he's yeah. a victim and he's actually not part of And the influence US. wouldn't get out. Yes. Anyway, so I think say, so, that issue there about um, Kush, the issue about the world, not to Nigel begin. Oh, uh, this, they, they, then conversation there also no go end. They no go forever. They, they, end. They, they, the ABC, uh, ABC type of communication. Yeah. Talk sure. to people there, mm -hmm. for them, change them, attitude, exactly. their behavior, the behavior exactly. around them, exactly. and, mm. and the community has can mm. see. All right. They get for own them. Yeah. Right. Uh, but yeah. like I established yeah. there, yeah, sorry, yeah. like I established, then conversation there, so not get for end. Mm. As long as you there around, Dixon there around, you there around, then conversation mm. there, so not get for end. Yeah. Because we get for make sure, say, I mean, young people in here, voice tell like own, we get authority and get get a profile for people for personal information to them. But tell them between for now. Um, it, 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 when I imagine say we don't spend two hours already. <laughs> <laughs> That's how fast we don't go with AIV mm. on Sunday today. We don't look at young people and the inclusion in governance. What did President Bill do in his second inning as President Nassar uh, I won't forget final words for Mona as we, as we say goodbye for today. Um, the question is, what if these young people not succeed? In one minute, Yusuf, <laughs> let's start with you. Well, uh, who will succeed and who will <laughs> deliver? You know, I understand because now some now a new phenomenon. So people like we go listen, say, oh, now nah, oh, so we go to watch with and say, oh, why they count Boku young people and for yeah. cancer? I won't forgive them the assurance and the confidence. Say. These are people that we're not just young. We experience, we suitable, but also we are energetic for deliver. Because at the end of the day, the next five years, now a period, now a country's life, we mean say we have to make a difference, not just for ourself, but also like you say, JK, for generation the way they be and we. Mm. So five, ten years from now, twenty years from now, you get president will say, mm. President Biobi starts something. If you pick Boku young man then and then deliver. Me self, 
la continue à ce qu'il y a dans le groupe de vivre. So à chaque fois qu'il y a des gens, tout le monde dit, on va délivrer, on va délivrer, on va délivrer. All right, thank you, Yusuf. Tell you, what if the young people are also not deliver and we get them boots on the ground for work? Well, um, to be honest, tout ça, on ne peut pas. Et tout ça, on ne peut pas for go. We want to be optimistic, say, then we go deliver, looking at specifically the portfolios, the profiles, and the background where they bring in. Um, I just uh, want to emphasize, say, the owners, they upon them, not for feel convenient, yeah? Um, you know, political appointments get a lot of thing where they bring, you know, sometimes people can just day off then guard, forgetting that five years is just not too far. So I think they need to be constantly reminded okay. that it's not a position of convenience and it just takes sincerity of purpose. Mm. If you're indeed sincere about the impact, about the impact, about the sustainab sustainable impact where this govern government intend for, for create in Sierra Leone and their lives, or in, in, I mean, in, in Sierra Leone, you know, I think that could be like a very serious motivating you know, factor. I want to see, so we, our, I want to move beyond social media, convincing people what the government don't do beyond social media. You know, things need to be very concrete. Intangible. You understand? I, I, need you. For, I need to see, like, citizens need to see. They're, they're you know, if, and and, and, and if, things are, if things become really concrete mm -hmm. and sustainable, you know, like, it will be very obvious. You know, people will believe in the reality and not only the you know not, the not exaggerated some, facts fantasies. but things exactly when they happen on the ground oh, so i, I think there, yeah. it takes you know uh, char charging them for be uh, for see uh, for so for for operate from a place of inconvenience and for be sincere with with the drive with the agenda all right yeah. thank you thank you Terry. to you thomas what if the young people are so not um, succeed me hope not that they go succeed i hope see them go succeed um but there are challenges with a need for overcome. Some they were able to overcome, some they won't be able to. And um, one important thing we for go down at the mind now that um, the former Ghanaian president John Kufo see, they say power get the potential for make good man turn bad man. Power. So some of them ordinarily where they're not being get position they were good men around. But because of power they can change them, they become bad people. Yeah. So let them not allow themselves to be intoxicated by power. Let them remain for be themselves, be humble, open up to ideas. Some of them already don't start. Some like the Ministry of Information, they don't, they do a lot of consultation, the two mm -hmm. the minister and the deputy. And I think so other ministers themselves, they do a lot of consultation. You don't have all the ideas. Listen to other people all right. and work on some of the things that we then will see. All right, thank you very much, um, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, AYV on Sunday today. So we don't talk about, well, the inclusion of young people in governance. That's the program they left for now for today. And all thank you, thank you for wanting to come and be part of the conversation. To Una, we send you messages and all we viewers across the world, those watching in the US, um, UK, and the other part in Europe, we want to say thank you, thank you to Una. Una comments and coming, we're able to read them. All right, we repeat this program. Um, on Thursday at 10 p.m. Be sure to catch a fresh edition of this program next week. Uh, until then, Primetime News will be next. I'm John Conte. Thank you, thank you for your watch and listening to AYV on Sunday.